is that we need to record a golf swing. You can either record a swing directly on the app itself, or you can upload it from your camera roll. If we record directly on the app, just make sure you have these things in mind. Select the club you want, select if it's outdoor or indoor, adjust the brightness accordingly. Make sure you film from face on with your full body in frame, so about 10 feet or closer. Record with a tripod or G-pod or a steadied hand. You can set the timer delay to start five to 20 seconds after you hit record. You don't have to worry about putting it on slow motion in the app itself because it's already set for you. All right, now if we wanna upload our swing directly from our camera roll, we wanna make sure it passes this checklist. It must be in slow motion. It must be a face on view, so not down the line. It must have your full body in frame, preferably eight to 10 feet away. And then once you record your golf swing, make sure you trim down so that there's no wasted space. We only want to capture the full swing. Take a screenshot of this list so you never forget. All right, now let's upload that swing. First, I'm gonna trim this video. To trim it, just go into your camera roll and slide these bars on the side here so that the swing is perfectly in frame. Now that it's trimmed up, it's time to upload it to Sportsbox. To upload a swing into Sportsbox, tap the new icon in the bottom right hand corner of the home screen. Then tap import from phone. You might wanna go over and read the requirements as a little reminder to make sure you completed all of these before uploading your swing. Then tap import video. Select the video you want to upload. Okay, now we're gonna give the video a name. You can assign it to an existing student and also add it to an additional session. Since we haven't had any swings uploaded yet, we cannot add to an existing session. Make sure you are entering the correct camera settings here. Okay, so we filmed this on an iPhone 12 Pro Max and it was outdoors. So that's what I'm gonna enter here. And then enter your player's information right here. All right, so this is key down here. Make sure your body measurements are somewhat accurate. If you're unsure, we have a chart that is compatible with the app. See however tall your player is, and we'll give you a ballpark estimate on their hip width. Once you are all done, tap Import and Analyze. You can do a voiceover and screen record directly from the app itself by pressing the Record button to record a lesson note or swing analysis. Tap the View button in the bottom right hand corner to view different angles of the golf swing. You can see the following. From target, behind, below, above, face on, or down the line. We'll stick to face on for this demo. All right, to see the analytics and the data, tap the visual icon in the top here to get a list of all the visuals you can decide to add. Let's add a couple to show you. I'm gonna add mid-hand sway, mid-hand lift, chest turn, and pelvis sway. I can run through the swing by dragging this purple scroll bar in the bottom of the screen. Or you can drag from the bottom of the screen here to get frame by frame of the golf swing. All right, now let's look at the numbers tab. Here you can see all the numbers that are being tracked as we move throughout the swing. You can also jump to certain positions in the golf swing, more specifically, seven positions. Set up, halfway back, top of the swing, halfway down, impact, halfway through the ball, and your finish position. The purple icon in the bottom right hand corner will allow you to view your swing in 2D, 3D, or you can split screen it so you can see both at the same time. You can compare before and afters of your students to quantify the progress being made. Tap the three little dots in the top right hand corner to add a reference model. I'll show you how to add a reference in the next section. You can also create custom watch lists for your students directly in the app, and this is how you would do it. Tap on the bullseye icon in the top of the screen, then scroll all the way to the right and tap create watch list. You can either choose from a popular watch list or create a brand new one. We're gonna create a customized watch list, so we're gonna tap create new in the top corner here. Assign the watch list to your student, title and write down the goals of this watch list. Now select what trackers you wanna pick. Since we wanna work on getting more turn in our backswing to increase our coil, I'm gonna select pelvis turn, chest turn, and X factor. Tap add, select the swing position you wanna work on. I'm gonna to select top or top of backswing. PGA Tour and LPGA Tour averages will automatically populate after you choose your swing position. Extend or narrow the minimums or maximums to make your goal harder or easier to achieve. When you're done, tap create watch list. To view your watch list, just tap the dart icon again at the top of the screen. Then your customized watch list will appear directly at the top of the screen. From there, they can actually quantify their swing changes with these 3D numbers and turn their feels into reels. 
All right, so in this section, we're gonna go over in detail the Sessions tab and how to navigate through it. To get to all your sessions, open the app, then tap the Sessions tab with the graph icon at the bottom of the screen. You can have multiple swings in one session by importing a video directly into that session here, or you can assign a swing to a session after uploading it from your phone. You can favorite a swing by tapping on the star icon at the top of the video here, and the share button here will send the 2D version of your swing to anyone you choose. When we tap on the three dots right here at the top of the corner of the swing video, we see six options. Analyze, you can analyze the previous swing by tapping on this button here, Delete, you can delete a swing video by tapping on this. Upload, you can upload a session directly to the database and this helps you mark it as a reference later. You can save it to your phone, which saves the 2D swing version of the video to your phone. You can mark as a reference. This will let you add that swing video as a model swing so you can compare it to the future sessions you may have. Or you can edit. You can edit any of the info entered into a specific swing. In this section here, we're gonna cover the student tab and how to navigate through it. We go into the student tab by opening up the app directly to the home screen. Tap on the student icon in the bottom middle of the screen here. If we tap on our student right here, you can access their sessions, their swing gallery, and watch lists. Add a new student by tapping on the add icon in the bottom right corner of the screen. Then enter your student's email address up top here. To see the status of your invite, scroll over to the invites tab to see the pending status of the student you added. All your student has to do is accept that invite. And to do that, they're gonna go over to the more icon at the bottom right corner of the home screen, tap invites, then accept that invite. You can also communicate with your student by tapping on the inbox icon at the bottom of the home page right here. Here, you can send lesson notes, voiceover screen recordings, along with drills correlated with that lesson, practice plans, etc. In this section, we're gonna go over the More tab of the Sportsbox AI 3D app. To get here, just press on the More icon at the bottom right-hand corner of the home screen. We have the FAQs for our frequently asked questions. You can change your password in case you want to. And here in Advanced Settings, you can set every session to be automatically uploaded once entered into Sportsbox by pressing Auto Upload. You may turn this on or off at any time. This will help your students see the sessions that were created for them automatically without having to manually upload them every time. You can see your subscription plan right here. And finally, you can get support with the three options at the bottom below. About us, contact us, and our privacy policy section here. That's it. Thank you for leveling up with Sportsbox 3D Golf Technology.